Here we've got an 83 CJ7. Uh, I was having problems um, when I would uh, go to engage my clutch. It wouldn't go into first gear, or any gears for that matter. Um, and it kind of slowly happened uh, over time, but sometimes it would just fix itself. Uh, and other times it would do it, like when I was in the middle of driving, all of a sudden I'd be stopped at an intersection. Uh, and we go to put it into first gear and I couldn't get it into gear like it would literally kind of try to Grind some trying to put it into gear with it running if I turned it off it'd go right into gear um, uh, Kind of was originally thinking it might be a clutch issue But kind of realized I wasn't really having any clutch slippage no feeling like the clutch was going out so uh, kind of trouble uh, kind of looked into it a little deeper um, Basically what I discovered is anytime the engine was off, uh, I could put it into gear really easy. It would slide right into gear. However, if I then started it, and um, even with the clutch in all the way, it would kind of try to creep forward a little bit. Or if I had it in reverse, it would try to creep backwards a little bit. Um, so that right there told me that the clutch wasn't uh, fully uh, disengaging. So, um, so uh, what I found, I've got a manual uh, clutch on mine. Uh, this is just the... Uh, Inline six. I'm gonna climb under here really quick. So on the driver's side, uh, you want to do this when it's cool out for sure because uh, your exhaust is right here, uh, which is very hot. It doesn't take very long to get hot too. Even just as I was fixing this, uh, starting it up a couple of times just to test it, uh, it got pretty hot. So definitely want to make sure the uh, car's been sitting for a while. Uh, before you do this. Um, so, as you can see right back in here, uh, this is the clutch fork. Um, and that's what was not allowing it to disengage all the way. Uh, now, as you can see here, I've pulled my boot off, which is actually all ripped up here. Um, need to replace that. Uh, the motor's actually coming out this winter anyways to do a lot of cleanup. I need to replace some seals and stuff because, uh, as you can see, it's... Uh, leaking like a sieve but anyways back to this problem at hand um initially thought maybe the there was something up inside so i pulled this boot just trying to see if i could see anything but what i realized is you can see this right here this is the end of the uh uh that's the end of the clutch fork uh which engages and disengages the clutch Let's scoot over here just a little bit more uh so right here uh this is the linkage that goes to your clutch pedal. Uh, there's a shaft that goes that way. It's got a zerk on it. Should try to keep it uh, greased. This one obviously hasn't been, but um, so this right here that you're looking at, this is the shaft uh, that needs to be adjusted. As you can look down here, there's a little lock nut. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with two hands here. And then you can see this right here. Yeah, that's, a, that's your adjuster right there. So you can see the end of it goes into the end of the uh, of the uh, clutch fork right there. So what I had to do, as you can see, kind of right here, fresh threads. Um, and when I'm not 100% sure yet, and I haven't gone in and looked on the internet yet or checked, but honestly, I think what happened with mine, I think you can see the back side of the uh, clutch fork right here has that ball. I think the end of this adjuster piece is supposed to have something, some sort of ball or something on it that goes into there. Uh, right now, mine's just straight metal, uh, and that doesn't seem right to have metal against metal against something that's uh, constantly grinding against each other. So I assume that there's probably a uh, some sort of plastic piece that goes in there um, to reduce friction, and mine's gone or disintegrated, if that's the case. Uh, but anyways, um, back to the fix. So basically I adjusted this nut out. First of all, you have to crack loose um, that uh, lock nut right there. And that lock nut, let me just check my wrench really quick, is a 9 sixteenths. Um, so I just used a 9 sixteenths. It's very difficult to get in there. It's better if you have a crow's foot uh, head. I did not have one, but I was able to wiggle in and get things. Um, the actual adjuster piece right there is a 3 quarter inch. Um, I had to break the lock nut by holding the three quarter inch and getting the nine sixteenths in there. Um, but once I got it loose, I could actually adjust it by finger. Uh, surprisingly, it wasn't rusted all together. So, um, so anyways, as you can see on mine, 
all I adjusted was probably about a quarter of an inch um, and I turned it uh, uh, counterclockwise which brought it back this way 